Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. Okay, so today I came home from work and I was in for a big surprise. I received a PR package from Martin Mikolev. I indicated in my previous video that I really, really enjoy the Mikolev watch that if friend of mine sent me a sample off and it's been in my wish list and to my surprise I received this as a gift so thank you so much Mikola for sending this to me as you all know even though this is received to me as a gift my review is honest I am also sent with four surprise uh, travel size of uh, perfume that I never smelled before actually I don't know what's in here so yeah so without further ado let's get started and of course Mikolev presentation is exquisite like always and I am in love with this watch packaging it's so beautiful and it opens up like this and this is how it looks like now and it has a little Swarovski crystal here um, I do have another Mikolev here that I absolutely love this is one of my favorite Rosen Martin Mikolev Mon Parfum Crystal and this is one of the best perfume that I have in my collection for Rose and I'm super excited. So Make a Lev Watch is bubblegummy tuberose. I love the scent so much. So I'm gonna try it again. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. It's a bubblegummy fruity tuberose. It literally smells like bubblegum. The scent makes me happy and this has officially become some of my favorite Make a Lev scent. I adore their Elangen Gold as well as Note Vanille, but if I were to pick, these two are my top favorite out of the Mikolev Sen. Okay, so I have four more perfume here that I'm gonna try. Alright, so I'm gonna try this one. It comes in this really cute packaging, and inside here I have 20 years Mikolev. So. I have no idea what the notes are. I'm just gonna put it. This is just gonna be a uh, honest first impression. Yeah, I know what this one instantly remind me of. It reminds me of another perfume that I really, really like. But um, before I check the notes, if I were to guess, this is a fruity, like a pear, sandalwoody oh, it with uh, vanilla on the dry down it smells amazing it reminds me a little bit of a uh, like label intense I love this so I'm gonna get back to you I'll be back so this one says a um, floral fruity perfume um, it has exotic fruits bergamot white rose nutmeg, orange blossom, jasmine, artemisia, geranium, patchouli, caramel, vanilla, white musk, and precious woods. So next I have this perfume, Glam Glamour from Nicolette. So I heard a lot about this. I think this one is the one that's comparable to Alien from Mugler. So I'm gonna test it. Okay, so I really, really like this. Surprisingly, I really, really like this. It does remind me of Alien. I like this one way more. It's way better. So, it also reminds me of Armani Privé Rouge Malachite. It has that similar feel. I love this one so much. This is really, really good. Yeah. 
surprisingly I really like this like I said this one reminds me of Armani Privé Rouge Malachite also reminds me of Alien Alien has that ambery that's a little bit dirty scent which I don't smell it here yet I don't think so I really really like it all right so next I have this gardenia from Mikalev I keep saying make a laugh even though this whole video is about make a laugh. <laughs> All right, so. So this one's really nice. It just smells like a realistic gardenia. You have to like white floral. Gardenia and Glamour are two really heady white floral. I love them all, so I really, really like it. <laughs> Turns out I'm back in my floral face. Last but not least, oh my god, this is exciting. I'm nervous. Okay, so I'm gonna test this. So right off the bat, it's not my favorite, even though I do love sandalwood, and I thought I like guyac wood. Okay, this one's beautiful, but it does remind me of barbecue a little bit. But it's so nice. I love all of these, to be honest. I really, really like them all. I love Mikalev Watch. It is a bubblegummy pink tuberose. It's a pink bubblegum type of tuberose. I love it. It has this fruitiness and it makes me happy whenever I smell this. So this is definitely one of my favorite. I really like Mikalev Glamour. This one reminds me of Armani Privé Rouge Malachite, also reminds me of Mugler Alien, but this is better. I mean, I like Alien, but Alien has that like designer quality. It has it has that, that amberiness that sometimes um, I like it a lot, but it has something that's sharp to the nose. And this is a much more higher quality version of Alien. I really, really love it. Yeah, so 20 years, Mikalev reminds me of Fragrance Dubois Oud Orange Intense. It also reminds me of La Belle Bleu Parfum Intense. It's closer to Fragrance Dubois Oud Orange than to La Belle Intense. I actually really love this Gardenia. Guys, this shipment is all good. And I really like the Gayek too, but the Gayek is very different. It's a very interesting perspective of perfumery. I actually don't have anything like this. So let's start with my least favorite. My least favorite is Gayek. I really, really like it. This is very special. It is a cooler, realistic Gayek wood. It does remind me of barbecue sometimes. I have that association with barbecue, even though this one doesn't smell like barbecue. But I really, really like it. It has this spiciness, reminds me of Fetifer could be, but it's not a Fetifer, it's Gayak Wood. It's really special. I highly recommend this. I like, I like all of these, but it is my least favorite because it doesn't fit me. This one also reminds me of Hermeson's Feta Fratonka. It's a gourmand, woody gourmand. Except Feta Fratonka Hermes smells like um, Feta Fer, and this is a Gaillac. But it has similar feel, it has similar structure. If you smell Hermeson's Feta Fratonka, you could imagine what this Mikalev Gaillac smells like. It's a, um, it's a cold leaning woody gourmand and the wood comes from Gayak and it also has this like something sweet in the dry down, a resemblance of some vanilla or some sweet floral, but it's really, really beautiful. My second least favorite, even though I really, really like this, is Mikalev Glamour. Even though I really, really like it, I feel like this one smells um, familiar. This one's similar to Rouge Malachite, Armani Privé. It also reminds me of uh, Alien, which I adore. So I really, really like it. But the reason why this is lower in the ranking, because I feel like I've smelled this before. So the third one 
is 20 years. I really love it. Um, this one makes me happy. It has that fruity notes. Reminds me of Fragrance Duba Oud Oran Sintan. So if you're curious what that smells like, try the Make a Laugh 20 Years. It's beautiful. It's some fruity notes with some like patchouli. It has that gourmandy scent. So if you smell like La Belle La Parfum Intense, not the original, the Intense, or like, you know, Dior Poison Girl, you kind of imagine what this smells like. It's a, along the same family. It has that sharpness, that resemblance a Dior, Dior Poison Girl licorice, but there's no licorice here, but it has that fruitiness. It has that sweet, as if there's a tonka bean in here, but I don't know if there's a tonka bean, but it, this one reminds me so much of um, Oud Orange Intense from Fragrance Dubois. Also reminds me of La Bella Parfum Intense and along the same family, but I really, really like it. Okay, my second favorite, my second most favorite, surprisingly, is Gardenia. This one smells so good. It smells like a pure gardenia. I'm a big fan of gardenia. I used to plant gardenia in my in my backyard, but it's dead now. Um, it smells like a powdery gardenia. So it smells like a powder. So this is a gardenia powder. If this is a floral powder. You must like uh, powder though. This one reminds me a little bit of a Narciso Poudre, one of my favorite, except this one doesn't have that sharp musk. And this one also has that gardenia extra. So it smells like a musky powdery with a lot of gardenia. I love this one. This is one of the best gardenia scent I've ever smelled. And my most favorite, of course, is Mikolev Watch. I love this one. This one makes me happy. This one is a um, bubble gummy tuberose. I really, 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 really love this. Um, and of course, I have my Beloved Mikolev Watch Mon Parfum Crystal. I mean Mikolev Mon Parfum Crystal. I love this one too. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.